Hi guys, I know a lot of you were disappointed that Samsung didn't implement the adoptable storage which allows you to make a micro SD card into your internal storage. Well, I have some good news for you guys. Paul O'Brien from Madoko, he's a longtime Android developer. He has figured out an easy way that you can go ahead and turn any micro SD card into internal storage. So let's go do this baby. All right guys, obviously the first thing you'll want to do is insert your micro SD card. This method will pretty much erase everything, so actually format your micro SD card before putting it in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and insert my micro SD card. All right, next what you want to do is go into settings, uh, go to about device, and go ahead and go into bill number and just hit it a bunch of times until it says developer mode has been turned on. Hit the back button, now you'll have developer options. Uh, make sure USB debugging is checked on like that. Hit OK. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and connect it to your computer. All right guys, next what you wanna do is download Samsung USB drivers, drivers for your S7 and S7 Edge. Uh, this will work on S7 or S7 Edge. Um, also download fastboot.zip, I'll have links to all these files uh, where you can get it. Um, go ahead and extract all files. All right, you can also do this on Mac or Linux. I'll have the commands you have to type in uh, Mac or Linux, which is pretty much the same, um, but check out my site. All right, next what you wanna do, um, go ahead and make sure the drivers are installed for Windows. Mac or Linux, you don't need drivers installed, so don't worry about it. Uh, go into control panel, hardware and sound, go to device manager, and you should see uh, something like Samsung, Android, -y, Android ADB interface like that. If you don't see that, go ahead and download the drivers, uh, Samsung USB drivers, I'll have the link. Go ahead and download that, um, run it, and it should install it for you. Now, once you have this fast boot folder, you're ready to go. Next, go ahead and go to start search and type CMD to open up a command prompt in Windows. For Mac or Linux, go ahead and open up a terminal. Uh, if you don't know how, go Google it, please. Um, next, you're gonna go ahead and go into this directory where we unzipped all the fast boot files. Go ahead and type CD downloads. Hit enter, go ahead and CD, uh, type CD fast boot. Hit enter. Uh, once you're here, go ahead and type ADB shell. Now don't hit enter yet. Go ahead and open up your phone. And it may ask you to hit allow. All right, uh, make sure you hit allow, say okay, allow USB debugging. You should see this dollar sign. All right, next we are going to um, type SM space lisk disks like that. All right, and you should get something like uh, some number here, disk um, 179 uh, comma zero like that. All right. Now, once we do this, we're gonna erase everything on your phone. So make sure you backed up everything. This will uh, format everything on your phone. Go ahead and type SM space partition space disk, uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and type this in there. So I'm gonna go 179 comma zero. And here's two options. If you want to make uh, the whole SD card as inter internal storage, go ahead and type private. Or if you want to do like a mixed 50-50, uh, perhaps you want to keep 50% of the micro SD card as regular micro SD card slot, um, then you can type mix 50 that. So using 64 gigabytes right now, it will only use 32 gigs as internal storage and leave the other 32 gigs as a micro SD card, regular micro SD card. But I'm going to turn everything uh, into internal storage, so I'm going to go ahead and type that. Go ahead and enter. Um, just make sure you backed up everything before you do this. It's gonna erase everything on your micro SD card. Go ahead and enter. And this should take a little while. But once it's done, um, your phone now should use your micro SD card as internal storage. And that's pretty much it. All right, uh, there we go. That's done. And we'll go ahead and check on our phone. All right, go into your phone, go to storage. All right, and you'll see that device storage. Um, now you have 32 gigs internal storage and SD card 64 gigabytes. So now I have about 92 gigabytes. Now when you start installing apps, 
uh, it's going to fill up the internal storage and SD card 50-50. Now don't worry about if it says 128 gigabytes, um, the numbers might not be 100% uh, correct, but just make sure your internal storage shows 32 and your SD card shows um, the number. And now let's go ahead and install an app and let's see what happens. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and install an app and this should uh, install to the SD card now. And you can see that now my apps are being installed on the SD card. And this will switch back between the internal storage and SD card 50-50. Um, so there you have it. Now you can turn your micro SD card uh, into internal storage. And thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me if you enjoyed this video. I'll have more videos coming this week. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay 